What's going on everybody? It's T Reaper and I'm back with another video. Okay, I hope everybody had a safe you know time on the East Coast the last day with all this snow on the ground. Um I wanna cover a couple things in this video. Hopefully it won't take too long, so sit back and enjoy my nice little lecture. Um first off, you know, quick update on uh the uh you know the corporate slave uh award concept that I was talking about earlier in the week. Turns out I probably actually lost to Mr. D-Batch in the first round. Um, I think that's actually kind of amusing, to be perfectly honest. Um, but quick shout out to Mr. Hazelstorm, because he commented in there, you know, the Weapon Wheel, you know, comment section, and he's like, how can you let Reaper, you know, how can you let D pass up Reaper, man? Reaper's the best corporate slab I've ever known. First of all, I think that's funny as all hell. Thank you, Hazelstorm. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Second of all, yo, like, the, these people are freaking insane because like not only did I lose to D-Batch you know shout out to D-Batch D-Batch is cool but like you know I, I showed this to D-Batch and D-Batch was like yeah I agree with Halo Storm and like yeah like but it was like it was funny because it was like you know I I'm, I was amazed how many people actually voted for me but then it was like uh, you know just kind of proves like what your messages are and how many people you annoy and then like the other the, the other like the other you know fun factor of the week was like you know everybody's still so tied up with the the namesake concept of my you know my wonderful you know my wonderful stunt last year you know i i personally you guys all gotta keep in mind that was called a prank for a reason it was called you know it was called a trigger you know a trigger you know action for a reason and if you guys are still talking about it and you guys are still obsessed over it even if you are pc you know mofos and you're like totally you don't care about PlayStation and you're still talking about me actually doing that kind of shows that you kind of do care because you keep bringing it up and it's actually kind of funny um but again it was a prank you know again a, a prank and a prank that was meant to trigger a whole bunch of ponies and it worked otherwise I would not have you know Black Bond or the Black Hammock motherfucker doing you know wonderful videos on my ass I would not have so many you know exposure videos of people like he's like he, he actually did that no it was all it was all done for triggers and you know wonderful prank you know for 2017's you know happy new year's you know prank thing and then the april fools thing was more serious and more jokeable but again it was just kind of funny and then you get like these like really odd people in like in discords that like you know claim they're xbox people but they claim they're Xbox people because they want to play you in FIFA. First of all, FIFA is garbage. Any sports games in this generation is garbage. Um, and I don't play sports games. And, you know, he's like, you know, play me in FIFA. I'm like, well, I don't actually play FIFA. And then he's like, you, do you have EA access? I'm like, dude, why the hell would I have EA access? Please explain this to me. Why would I have EA access if I can afford all my games by myself, bro? You know, you do know EA Access is just for the poor, just like Game Pass is for the people that can barely afford a single game. You know, I know that's a min minority of people that actually, you know, do play Xbox that can't afford their own library. But still, you know, that's what EA Access and Game Pass exist for, is for the people, you know, it's for the poor. You know, it's like, you know, it's like Microsoft be pretending to be Robin Hood and give it back to the, you know, you know, steal from the rich and give to the poor. You know, steal from the developers and give to the poor with, you know, free Game Pass concept. I made that up, but it's just kind of funny. Um, and then, you know, and then everybody, uh, you know, over Christmas break was, like, talking about Cody. First of all, you know, I don't really give a shit whether Cody's on Xbox or not. You know, back in the day, it was called something totally different on the OG Xbox. But I still think Media Player plays my torrent files way better than Cody. Plus, I don't have to go through the hassle of actually setting up Cody, which is the other reason why I don't really care for it. You know, I'd rather just plug in my hard drive and then bam, be able to play my files, man. That just, you know, that's just like the easiest way it actually goes. Uh, but like, I like it how like everybody from like, from God to, to the devil is like basically saying, Yo, like, yo, you were Xbox dudes, all you guys is watching Netflix and Hulu, you guys don't play games. Um, well, first of all, if I didn't play games, how the frick did I get 55,000 gamer score? You know, explain, please explain that to me. Explain that to me, Lucy. I'm, I'm dying to actually know. Um, no, we actually do play games, we, you know. Now, 
just because you're, you know, everybody, you know, delusional pony nation is, you know, upset with their entertainment setup doesn't mean, you know, they have to be mad at us, Xbox, for enjoying our entertainment. You know, everybody enjoys their entertainment in their own personal way. So don't get mad because someone enjoys their entertainment and you do not. You know, it's just, you know, just common courtesy. And then, you know, back to the weapon wheel thing. All they are is a bunch of delusional ponies that, you know, you know, care what we Xbox people think, which is really funny. But again, I, I, I said this to, I said this to Z's, like, if like if you're on people's minds and your messages stick with people and they keep bringing it up for no apparent reason kind of means you did something right because they keep talking about it and they keep want to make it keep wanting to make it relevant you know even if they they claim they don't care that you did it well if you keep bringing it up it kind of shows you know kind of deeply that you honestly do care just a little tiny little bit but you know it's you know it's cool that you know my, you know, my actions are well known and my actions, you know, are, you know, you know, rem, you know, reminisce across all of YouTube. But, you know, again, it was just a prank. Please get over it. Um, and, uh, you know, 2018, man, you know, 2018 will be, you know, an interesting, you know, an interesting year. Um, I'm kind of interesting to see where this, you know, wonderful God of War will take us. I can't wait for Red Dead Redemption 2. I honestly cannot wait for uh, Anthem, and I'm looking forward to you know the uh, the experiences this last year will bring. But you know, just please keep in mind, anybody who wants to lecture me, you know, I legitly only play Xbox. One more time, I only play it for Halo and shooters mainly. So like, if it's not a shooter and it's not Halo, I honestly could give two shits less. But Again, that's just my that's just my personal thing, and it has to be FPS, FPS, first person shooters, not third person. Third person, I can honestly could give two shits about, but that's just me. Anyway, this is T Reaper. I hope you guys all enjoy this wonderful, you know, nice little lecture. Um, have a good weekend. You know, shout out to my new subscribers. Um, and you know, if you like this content, if you like what I had to say, please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. This is T Reaper, and I'm out. Peace.